In this video we will learn how to clip a raster using a raster and type of masks in Google Earth Engine. In terms of digital image processing clipping means extraction of a portion of an image using a vector or shape file. But here we will clip using a raster binary mask. Before we begin please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more short and beginners oriented Google Earth Engine videos. First of all I will load my study area map and visualize it on map. Next I will calculate area of this polygon. To calculate area of a vector in Google Earth Engine we use the dot area method. This method returns the area in square meters so, to convert from square meters to square kilometers I will divide by the conversion factor. I will also convert this decimal value to an integer using the round method. I will filter and load a median image of Sentinel-2 for my study area and clip it using the study area polygon. If you don't know about filtering datasets in Google Earth Engine, please watch my video on that link in card above and video description. Next I will compute the NDVI using the filtered image, and in the display parameters since it's a single band image I will visualize it on map by giving it a color palette. For calculation of other indices in Google Earth Engine please watch my video on that. I am doing this because I want to create an NDVI threshold mask. We will use that mask image to clip. I highly suggest you to watch my video on threshold masks in Google Earth Engine. Next we will generate a threshold mask from the NDVI image. I am telling Google Earth Engine that select the NDVI values greater than 0.5 and create a binary mask image from it. I will visualize this binary image on map. A binary mask is a single or one bit image that has two values 0 and 1. The value 0 in our case means no data values and 1 means all pixels that were greater than our threshold value. Next to remove the zero or null values from the binary mask we will use the self-mask method. Only the value 1 will be kept and value 0 is ignored. As we saw that self-mask clips the zero data values from a binary mask, the next tracer clipping method that we will look at is update mask. Through this method we can clip an image using another image or mask. I will give the unary image to this method that we created with self-mask method because the original threshold mask contained values of 0 2. I want to clip the Sentinel-2 image that we loaded using this method. We give the original image and inside the update mask method we will provide the unary mask. I will visualize the clipped or masked Sentinel-2 image. If we use the update mask method with the original thresholded image, it will behave just like self mask method returning the unary image, meaning you can use the update mask method for creating unary masks. Finally, let's compute the area of this raster mask. If you don't know about calculation of pixel area of an image in Google Earth Engine please watch my video tutorial on that. If you learned something please like this video. Code link given in video description. For any queries write in comments or send me an email. I will see you in the next one. Peace.